Hey everybody, this is Joe DiOrsi. As you know, we began last week on the 9th our new Planning Center child check-in system. I just want to do a quick review about that so that we're all on the same page and answer a couple frequently asked questions. So first, I just want to go over the stations. Down the steps here, uh, we have uh, three stations, two of which we're going to use um, as what are called self stations. That's pretty self-explanatory. That's uh, a regular that can just use it themselves and check themselves in and their kids in. Um, that's probably where all you regulars are headed. Now, if you're bringing uh, a guest or a family of guests, um, right over here at the um, whatever this desk is called, uh, the welcome, the guest services desk. Uh, this is our guest services station, and this is a manned station, meaning a person will actually be there. And um, anyone that's new here, or somewhat new here, who has not filled out one of these forms and thus is not in our people database, uh, will fill this out. Simultaneously, someone will check their kids in, print their labels out, and then the next time they come to praise, they'll walk down the steps to our self stations because they'll be in. Okay, so this is obviously is test event A and not Sunday morning, um, but take this as if you're coming on a Sunday morning. I just wanted to give you a quick visual of how this will look. Um, you're going to put your phone number in. So I'm gonna put mine in to sign my kids in. It identifies my household as the DRC household, with it, which is correct. I am going to, if everything looks good right now, Evie's in Babyboro, Jude's in Praiseland, which they are. Um, I can just select over here in the left-hand column and, and check them in, but just to show you how this works, I'm going to click on this large space just to check things. Um, sometimes right here there will be an option for diaper bag. I can check that if I want a sticker for Evie's diaper bag, which I've done in the past, um, but I don't have that option on here for just this test event. Um, so I'm going to click in Jude's, everything looks good, go back, uh, they have their bags. I'm going to check them in. This is how easy it is. Uh, as you can see right here, I'm checking in as Adrian Diorsi, which is not correct. So I'm going to check in as Joe. And I'm ready. Sometimes it takes a moment for these labels to spit out. So as you can see, guys, I have Evie Diorsi checked in. She's in baby burrow. She's zero to 18 months. This test event happens to be at one o'clock. Um, I'm the one that signed her in, and here is my phone number in case the classroom teachers have to reach her. Uh, this would go on her, this sticker. This would go on the parent, whether it's sticking to their clothing or they have it in their pocket or whatever, um, and these match so that when you go to pick up your child, uh, the security team and the teachers in each classroom uh, can see that they match, and if they don't match, there's a problem. We would prefer that you do that. Come to the lobby first to check them in, get your labels, then head back up the stairs uh, to those three classes. Now, eventually, uh, our plan is to have a station, actually, and a printer down at the T in the hallway uh, to kind of clear that up and make it more convenient for uh, parents of those three classes. Because the system takes in birth dates, it can assign kids to classrooms with certain age ranges. For instance, Baby Burrow, the filter is 0 to 18 months. Uh, Friendship Mountain is 18 to 36 months, Praise Land is three to five years, and then we get up into upstairs, you get into grades. Um, so there obviously would be uh, some exceptions to that rule. What I'd like you to do, what we'd like you to do, is if that's the case and the label prints out and it's wrong, just stick it on your child for that Sunday, but let us know that they're an exception 
And on the back end of the system, we can check a box and uh, it, it is basically ignore filters. And then the next time you come in, you can actually select which room you'd like them to go to. So another question was, uh, if your child is crying or <laughs> misbehaving or something of that nature, we used to have uh, those little screens with the digits in our sanctuary. We still do, actually. Um, but the question is, with this new system, how are we communicating to parents that that's the case, that you need to go get your child or help, help your child out? Uh, the answer is, um, we're going to try for the time being and see how it works. It's kind of like a piloting thing. Um, since uh, I signed Evie in and uh, my cell phone is here at the bottom because I signed her in, if, if uh, Adrian signed her in, her phone number would be on the bottom. Um, let's say Evie is crying and having a fit and they just need to reach me. Uh, the leaders in Baby Burrow would simply text me, hey, we need you to come and get Evie. So this might change in the future. Uh, we're going to pilot this. We're going to see how it works. So. Bear with us, please. Another question was just the situation of checking out. Um, there is technology with the Planning Center check-in app um, later down the road where we can actually uh, scan uh, the parents uh, security tag with the barcode that you see on there um, with a smartphone or an iPad or a similar device. We're not quite there yet. We have some work to do. So right now it's as simple as uh, showing uh, the teacher of that classroom that your security code does match with your son or daughter and um, taking them. And our security team is also aware of, of uh, the need for those two to match. Now we understand if, since it's new, if you lost it or you dropped it or whatever, uh, but heading, heading down the road, we're gonna be looking at that. So there's obviously more questions uh, that we have that we're working on. Uh, we have two services, sometimes families and kids are here for both. That's a question that we're working on. Stay tuned for a solution for that. Uh, also, we have uh, young adults and youth that volunteer actually uh, in other rooms. So if they were to check into one room, but they'd be later leaving to volunteer in one of the young kids' rooms, that kind of creates a, a conundrum. Uh, we're aware of that as well. Uh, so stay tuned as we work this out, we iron it out. And of course, um, if you have any suggestions, feel free to let us know. Thank you guys.